Hi guys, we're at the end of week four of taking 125 milligrams of sertraline to treat triple PD, a CPTSD and MDDS. Um, this is a dose reduction down to 125 from 150. Um, I had a horrendous week uh, last week. Um, on reflection, I think that probably was hormonal changes and also that I've been doing a hell of a lot. Um, I'm here at Margate Market at the moment. Um, I am on my stool. I'm sat on a chair, a camping chair, with a TENS machine on my back uh, to keep me soothed as much as possible. I'm under a pink uh, gazebo and um, yeah it's this is I'll just show you so it's not too busy today which is not too bad but I'm still struggling a little bit this is what I make And this is Margate. You see how fun it is. God, I'd love to feel normal be, and be here and actually enjoy it, you know? It's a beautiful sunny sky and um, I am feeling about a six. It's not too bad. I've got super light sensitivity today. Um, the vision has definitely improved guys since I've gone down to 125 so I think 150 was too high um, so yeah I started to do um, I don't know how I didn't find it before it's crazy but I think you can get overwhelmed there's so many videos out there particularly from study coach and I completely overlooked um, graded exposure or guided exposure and um, so I've started to put myself in a chair and listen to her and I take it out with me as well I've got YouTube premium now so there shouldn't be any more adverts and stuff so um, yeah I've been doing that and that's what I've got to do I'm still waiting for my dad's estate to resolve I think that will be a big release for me when it does um, it's like I'm holding on to all this stuff that I can't let go for some reason I'm, so, I'm like so perfectionistic. I'm telling my brain when it's okay to grieve. It's like I have to do things in a certain order. Maybe I have OCD, I don't know. Who knows? But I don't really like the labels. I'm just me, I'm just me. And, I, and I'm a product of my experiences and my traumas and things like that. They don't define me, but they make up the personality that I am. So it's made me realize a lot about myself having this and that I need an element of chaos um, to feel normal um, so yeah it's um, yeah I'm learning a lot about myself and I am thoroughly sick of feeling this way but I'm and I'm still learning acceptance it's crazy after all this time on the 8th of May it was three years to the day so um, but again the timeline doesn't matter so much has happened in those three years and something that I hold on to is that I will never be as bad as I was in that first year, ever. Um, because now I have the knowledge that I didn't have before. I've stopped going to doctors. I'm not having any therapy. I probably should be having therapy, but I'm not. Um, because I, I don't want to throw any more money at this than is necessary. I think that I just need, um, as and when I need to, I will listen to Dan Buglio, Pain Free You. Um, if you don't know who that is, check it out. Painfreeyou.com. Um, and the Steady Coach's uh, tools that she gives us uh, so generously for free. Um, I've actually been in contact with her. She's coming to London next year, so um, we're going to meet up, so that'll be nice. Um, hopefully I'll be better by then, but if I'm not, whatever, you know? Um, so yeah it's, it's um, I'm doing my best I, that's all I can do I'm doing the best I can I'm doing something I love I'm in a place I love um, I thought that I would be feeling a bit better when my boyfriend came down to join me on Friday no Thursday evening he came down but it didn't make any difference to symptoms. I thought it would, but it didn't. But it's something made me realize, right? Because I've been on my own for a week 
and it's the first time I've been on my own in my life ever ever so it was really interesting to be in my own company on my own for that long my first time in my life so yeah I'm learning it's all learning about ourselves and uh, learning how to calm the nervous system we all know this don't we it's just the implementation that's the hardest thing I need to do more of this graded motor imagery I find visualization quite difficult I don't know why because I'm actually a creative person obviously and um, but I can't I can't seem to do the visualization um, but the guided exposure is definitely something I need to do and wait for my dad to stay to resolve and then just let the feelings out that I've been holding on to so that is the plan um, I'm home for four days I go home tonight um, I'm with my partner at the moment, he's going to take me home tonight and then I've got four days to make a load of stuff and um, yeah and then come back again on my own on Friday. So anyway I love you and leave you guys, I hope you're doing okay if you're not reach out and I'll speak to you next Sunday. Love you, bye.